Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I wanted to discuss my travel filmmaking kit and sort of the essentials that I bring with me, mostly on domestic flights, but also they will work very well on international flights. Now my camera of choice that I would take, there's actually two. One I'm using right now that I can't even show you is my Sony RX100 Mark IV. This thing is amazing. I got it a couple years ago at a killer deal for 300 bucks off of somebody, off of Facebook Marketplace. And the great thing about it is you can literally put it in your pocket. It shoots 4K, it shoots high quality stills, it has built-in NDs, a variable zoom lens in it that shoots anywhere from a 2.8 aperture to a 1.8 aperture. It does super slow motion up to 960 frames per second. Um, it shoots an S-Log runs off of really tiny batteries, which is kind of a drawback. They generally only last about 30 minutes, but the image and photo quality you get out of this thing is great, especially for something that is so light and honestly so inexpensive. That's something that I always bring with me when I travel so I can film either BTS, take quick pictures and get something high quality still, or film in 4K or in super slow motion if needed. Right now, I'm filming all of these on this Sony RX100 Mark IV. Um, the autofocus, as you can see, is tracking my face. We're shooting at an F2, and I believe at 3200 ISO, it looks really good, and it's an S-Log2, so I get to grade this afterwards in a picture profile that I'm very used to using. Now, if I'm feeling especially uh, adventurous and I want to capture moments, I always want to bring the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. Now this thing has everything I need built into it. It has a beautiful high-knit monitor built into it that's tiltable and it flips out. It also captures Blackmagic RAW, which is super flexible in post and it shoots at high frame rates, small form factor, I have HDMI out, I can um, record to CFast SD cards, or I can use the USB-C out to record to the SSD that I showed earlier. I love the color science and imagery I get out of the Blackmagic um, cameras and uh, the integration with DaVinci and just how fluid it like runs in my editing programs. So this is actually my travel camera. I put this through so much rain, snow, hiking, everything from films to commercials, music videos, and all different types of projects with this. I love this thing. I think for the price, it's pretty much unbeatable in this realm um, in the sense of what you get for the price. Another thing that I always bring with me on my travel gigs or whenever for leisure is something that is handy in both my filmmaking and personal life. That would be this awesome multi-tool. This is a small little nine universal multi-tool that is a item that small rig sent me and it has everything from your allen keys to your flathead and it also has a phillips screwdriver and a couple more additional useful things and it's so tiny that you can literally just throw this into your pocket or into your suitcase and honestly sometimes i almost forget that it's even on me because of like how lightweight and a small form factor this thing is. It's really awesome, something that I always bring with me when I'm traveling. In addition to that, I generally bring AirTags. Now, Apple AirTags have revolutionized the way I travel because I stick some of these on my personal belongings, whether it be my bags, my wallet, my suitcases, um, you know, on my keys as well, and I'm able through the Apple AirTag ecosystem to track them through Bluetooth, and they work very well. Helped me in a pinch, just wondering, you know, when you get to an airport late and you check in your bags last minute, and sometimes I've gotten the, the unfortunate messages like, sir, we're not sure your bags might arrive um, after you, or they might arrive the day after. Um, I've had that message happen. It hasn't, thank goodness, happened to me yet because I have expensive stuff that I generally check in insured but this always gives me a little bit more peace of mind moving on i always travel around with my phone of choice which is in this case the iphone 13 pro the reason i generally like this phone over the other phones i've had is the integration with the apple ecosystem so i have imessage i have icloud um, it shoots high quality video and photo stills lightweight and um, the form factor is really nice and i really like the design 
Uh, there's some things, I used to be a very avid Samsung user. Um, FaceTime is another, another feature. Um, find my location, find my items. Tons of great things that you can use um, application-wise on your iPhone. And you know, the obvious, it's all preference, but this is, this is my preferred phone of choice. Another thing I generally never leave without is my 16-inch M1 Pro MacBook. And this one is the 512 gigabyte version, the Core M1 Pro, and it has worked wonderfully well. It has cut down my editing time by probably about 80%. Honestly, I probably edit easily four or five times faster using this. The performance is amazing for the price. It's not let me down. And um, yes, it's a little bit bigger, but I kind of like the fact that the battery life lasts forever. I can edit an entire project on this and still have battery to spare, which is incredibly useful, especially when you're traveling or when you're not close to a power source. Now, unfortunately, the MacBook is only the 512 gigabyte version because I did get the base model, but I always bring with me this SanDisk 2 terabyte Extreme Pro SSD. This thing is very rugged, very small form factor and slim lined, and it is something that's quick that I can edit off of and I can also record my footage up to 6K and above directly to it from the USB-C slot into my Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K Pro. The next item that I always love bringing is my 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro. Now this thing is sweet because I get to use this in addition to the Apple Pencil. It has mobile data, so it has 5G on and has its own plan. And I generally use it to script and I uh, answer emails, consume content, mostly do a lot of uh, work on Procreate to break down lighting sets and um, do a lot of content creation on it. So it's been one of the best purchases I've ever had next to the MacBook Pro and my iPhone. And two other things that I like bringing is my Apple Watch. This is the older generation, I think generation five or six. It's beautiful, it's sleek. It has about a two to three day battery life depending on how often you use it, but I get all my messages straight to this thing. Works wonderfully well, very small on the wrist, but sometimes I just leave it at home because I don't really use it that often. But it is handy whenever you're on set and you wanna kinda of get a quick look at your notifications. Moving on from that, something I have always kinda of had reserves about getting, but I finally broke down and got it, are the AirPod Pro 2s. These things are super awesome. I regret not having uh, spent the money purchasing these, but I got them on a great Black Friday deal. These things have great battery life, amazing sound, the noise cancellation is incredible. It doesn't fall out of your ears and you can trap th track them with the Find My app on your iPhone, your iPad, or your uh, MacBook Pro. So it's something that I never leave without, especially for those long plane rides and um, for taking calls when you need them or just listening to any music and winding down. Now, two other items that I always take with me are a carry-on bag, which is generally the Think Tank Airport Advantage Plus, and I've traveled probably easily over 150 times on flights, um, on different shuttles, different forms of transit. It rolls, it fits in the TSA required dimensions to go on the overhead bins on the majority of flights I've been on, literally 95% of flights, unless it's like a smaller passenger plane, and it is by Think Tank, which is literally my favorite brand when it comes to camera cases and camera bags. It's compartmentalized, it has enough pouches, it is durable, strong, weatherproof, honestly the top of the line when it comes to camera cases in my opinion that are for me. Um, I also have had for plenty of years, probably close to 10 years now, is the in-case DSLR Pro backpack in black. Now this thing is highly customizable. I can shift all the compartments. I can fit clothes in here, smaller camera gear. It has so many compartments and little anti-theft features that are really handy. And it's a lightweight and sleek design bag. It's very stealthy looking. I like stuff to be kind of like that, like dark, incognito, not too flashy, and um, high functionality. Another thing I have listed are the Aperture MC Amaran RGBWW Pocket camera lights. These things are amazing. They're magnetic, rechargeable, rechargeable through USB-C, and wireless rechargeable. They have a full spectrum of lighting, 
They're beautiful lights. You can control them through Sidus Link and they can come into clutch. You know, when you're looking through your bags, when you're trying to light a little scene, you're trying to get some extra edge light on you. So I have a USB-C portable charger that has a readout on it. It delivers power through the USB-C and the dual USB-A slots. It's something that has a 10,000 milliamp, so it can charge your phone a few times. It can charge your camera, your accessories, depending on how much power it needs and what are the outputs. But generally you can use any of the plugs to get your power delivered to your devices. I want to see what you guys use or if you find some of these useful. Some things come in the clutch and um, I've used these consistently and found that they abide by all the TSA rules and they've helped me dramatically get from point A to point B and beyond.